Hola, me llamo Alcalde Oliver Gilbert, and we've gone virtual. Now, while you're staying at home, I wanted to make sure the activities you enjoyed could be brought to you online. Join me with Spanish lessons with Dr. Jackson. Let's learn Spanish together. Hola, bienvenido a la clase de español. Hoy es lunes, el 27 de abril del 2020. Hello and welcome to Spanish class. My name is Dr. Jackson and I will be teaching you the alphabets and numbers for today. First of all, let me say thank you all for joining me. I thank you Mayor Gilbert and the City of Miami Gardens for creating this virtual experience so that we can continue learning or for some of you begin learning um, the Spanish language. So the way that this is gonna work is I am going to say the letters a couple times and allow you to say it. I, I wish I could see you, but so that you can practice the saying the pronouncing the letters and then pronouncing the words. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and, and ask, type it in and I will answer your questions. Okay. Okay. So. El alfabeto. A. A. El árbol. El árbol. B. B. El bebé. El bebé. C. C. Now C just like in the English language, has a soft sound, which is the front of the mouth sound that will make an S sound. Okay, as in ciclo, or it has a hard sound, which is a back of the mouth sound, as in carro. Okay, so s or k, k. okay. De, de, diccionario, de, e, e, elefante, elefante, f, F. Sorry, let me slow down for you all. Fácil. Fácil. G. G. The G also has two sounds. It has a soft sound, which makes an H sound. And a hard sound, g, g, g. H, H. H is silent. So when you're saying a word with the letter H, it would say hola. You would not say hola, you'd say hola. E, the letter I in Spanish makes an E sound, as in iguana, E. J, J, the J in Spanish makes a H sound. J, J, jugar, J, K, the letter K, the words in Spanish with the letter K is usually borrowed from other languages. So you would see the word, it looks like karate, but it's Karate, karate, 
K L L L León L León Ella The double L makes an Y sound Y Y As in lluvia La lluvia Or llorar Ella Lluvia Llorar I wish I could see you all to hear your sound, the sounds that you're making. I hope you're practicing. M. M. Mmm. Manzana. M. N. 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 Nunca, N. 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 The N. sound is N. N. As in canción, canción. Okay, so when you hear the N. sound, it's an, it's like making an N and a Y together. So your tongue has to go to the top of your, of your, uh, to the roof of your mouth. Ny, ny. Okay. Ny. O. Oso. Oso. Pe. Perro. Perro. Q. Q. The Q makes a C sound. Q. R. R. Caro. R. Then you have the double R, which makes a which is the sound that you have to roll your tongue. R, 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 perro. Try rolling your R. R, Kind of sounds like a car starting. R, S, S. Sol, S, Sol, T, T, Tigre, Tigre, U, U, Uvas, Uvas. U. V. V. Vaca. V. W. W. W is also another letter that's borrowed from other languages. So you'll see words um, with the w, words that begin with the W sound look just like um, English words, as in um, water polista, water polista, water polista, X. X, examen, X, X, examen, Y, 
y griega. Y griega. Y griega. The Y makes two sounds. When the Y is in a word, it makes the Y sound. However, when it's by itself, it makes an E sound. Okay? So it would say E. The word, the letter Y by itself means and. So when it's by itself, you will say E. And Zeta. Zeta. Z makes the S sound. Zeta. Zeta. I want to back up because I neglected to say the CH sound. After the C is che. Che. Chimpanze. Che. Makes the same sound like in English. Che. Che. Okay, now I want to go through the vowels with you, okay? And I want you to practice saying the vowel sounds after me. A, árbol, e, elefante, i, iguana, o, oso. U, único. Let's try that one more time. A, árbol. E, elefante. I, iguana. O, oso. U, único. Now, there's going to be a link provided on the website tomorrow so that you can go back and review the PowerPoint and practice with some songs so you can practice the pronunciation of the um, letters. So now we're going to go into the numbers. Okay, we're going to do the numbers from zero to 20 today. Okay. Okay, los números, cero, 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 uno, uno, dos, dos, Tres, tres, cuatro, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis, seis. Siete, siete, ocho, ocho, nueve, nueve, diez, diez. Once, once, doce, doce, trece, trece, 
14. 14. 15. 15. 16. That's a long one. That's the 10 and the 6 together. 16. 17. 17. 18. 18. 19. 19. 20. 20. Okay, so I hope that you all were able to practice and repeat the letters and the numbers. I really hate that I can't see you all. Those of you who have taken my class before know that I like to get up close and hold your mouths and make sure that you're saying, pronouncing the letters and the words properly. Um, but soon enough, we'll be back out there. Uh, so next week, um, not next week, Wednesday, we are going to um, work on more on the, we're going to work on the days of the week, the months of the year. And I want to have more of conversation. I want you all to practice speaking more. Um, so if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask. Does anybody have any questions? I don't see any questions popping up. Okay. So thank you so much for, for joining me today. Um, I really, really appreciate you all coming out and, and logging in and, and to learn Spanish because it's important that you all continue your learning experience during this pandemic. Um, stay safe and I'll see you all on Wednesday. Adios. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Join us every Monday and Wednesday on Facebook Live for Spanish with Dr. Jackson. If you want to view the session again, visit cmgengage.com backslash virtual. See you next week.